high. It's my time, huh? Mm, my time to shine. I have some in my mouth. This is going to be a reading for whoever it resonates with. There's no time stamp, no signs. Unless I see one in there, but I'm not going to, like, note it. Unless it's really serious. I still might not note it. You take what resonates and you always need to rest. Don't make something that you when it's not. This could also be for the cross, the cross watcher. Or this could also be for somebody that you're dealing with in your life. Not just romantically. This is partnership, friendship. You know what I mean? Everything ain't always love all the time. That's why I don't do love readings all day. Because everybody literally is not in love all day. <laughs> in reality, there's no love all day. So like when I go to certain readings that I like and I... I go off of, like, your, your title, basically. And if your title is all day, every day reading, I'm out. I leave after the first time. I don't want to see that all day, every day. Because literally, like, 90% of people is not worried about love all day. A lot of people worry about pinnacles. Some people worry about love because they just, they don't, they haven't in tune with the divine yet. Once you in tune with the divine, you're not going to worry about love like that because he's your love. And if some people get that, they won't be lost for a while. So, I just let people be. But I know this channel here ain't going to be about love. This going to be about scams, lies, people hating at work. It's going to be about the neighbors. It's going to be about your kids. It's going to be about whatever the divine tell me to. Because he do not be having me talk about love all day. And I really don't want to talk about love all day. Bottom line. So, without further ado... I'm going to go ahead and see. You got justice at the bottom of the deck. So you may be getting justice in some type of situation. Or you getting justice out of something. We're going to see. What is the energy around this reading at this time? Universe. Three cards came out like that. Damn. Damn. Nice card. Nice cards for somebody. So far, you never know though. Six of Wands. Victory. This is what this is what somebody basically had or have right now. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Three of Pentacles. Somebody wanna build something. Or got a contract of how they want something built. Nine of Pentacles. Got everything. Living beautifully. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I like that vibe. Look like it's about some money. Like your money went from three to nine for the future. That's that's a that's a good thing. What's the overall energy of the six of wands at this present time? Too many cards. I see the lot reversed though. What's the energy of the six of wands? One card, two cards, three cards. It gave me four. I gotta take them though. You got the page of cups. That's always been coming out. Like somebody wanna offer something, but it's nothing but like a slippery fish. There's a couple bullshit in the past. With the seven of wands, somebody trying to, seven of swords, somebody trying to get away with something without somebody seeing. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you got the queen of wands again, just still not making something happen. Like she upset or something again. She stay upset. That's a fire sign. And then you got the nine of swords. You coming up out of some anxiety, worry, sadness, can't sleep, depression. You coming up out of that with the swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what this three of pentacles is about. I was going to put that back, but you know what? I see where it stopped. Ain't no need to even run from it. We got the empress upset again with the fool. 
and press reverse with the fool. She must have took a chance with a fool. Four of Pentacles reverse. Coming up out of having something close to her heart. But she went right back up to the Ten of Pentacles. Happiness, family, life, have everything in order. And she coming up out of a third party situation or some type of heartbreak or pain that she went through. Or he went through. For the present. Could have been Gemini and Libra Aquarius. But the, the Empress took a chance and was like, to take something close from my heart and it looked like she did good by doing it. What's the energy of the Nine of Pentacles? King of Swords, somebody cutting through bullshit with truth and clarity of a situation. Yep. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's the energy around the Nine of Pentacles? Ace of Swords from the universe. Truth and clarity with the crown to cut through something. So you made a cut through something to see the light. And the universe helped you so you ain't got to go through nothing. I'm going to get one more card. What's the energy surrounding the Eight of Swords? I mean, the Nine of Pentacles. What's the energy surrounding the Nine of Pentacles? What's the energy surrounding the Nine of Pentacles? Two came out. Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody that cut through bullshit as well. With truth and clarity of a situation. So you had the Queen and Cain on your side cutting through something. It's for you to see it. Even though you're still stressing about something that you lost. But the point is, you move forward, we're going to see. What's the energy surrounding the Five of Cups? Because this is the future. So, what is the energy surrounding the Five of Cups? That's a lot of cards, but it is what it is. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, uh, uh, ending to a new beginning. Somebody left somebody out on the cold or left you out on the cold. You could have been at um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You might have left somebody out on the cold. But this is something you hoped and wished for. And the Seven of Wands. It's like somebody got one wand to make something happen. Which could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then you got the Three of Wands reversed. Like you're not trying to make that effort or they not they meant they not making the first move in that situation so i just see that you move forward like you went through something you came out of something and you just was like done let me see if i could get an overall card when you're reading this was fast <laughs> what energy is around this reading overall energy Overall energy surrounding this reading. You got two cards. It's a choice that you have to make blindly, a blind decision. Maybe about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that want to make something happen. That's what I'm seeing. I want to get a love oracle. And then I'm going to be stopping. I'm tired. Got to keep that shit real. What is the overall energy of this reading? You are being you are a being of universe, of the universe. Feel the connection. You are never alone. So you may feel like you alone in some situations, but you not. The divine is right here. What's the overall energy of this reading? What's, okay, you have Two, talking, interested conversation, excuse me, interested conversation, more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, 
So you, somebody going to be talking to you, sending you some type of message. They want to talk to you about something. You got coffee cup reverse. Meeting and conversating. Feeling uplifted friendship. So you coming up out of that type of energy maybe of with friends, with people and stuff. It might be because of something you went through. You just don't like conversating. I ain't mad at you because that's how I roll. Damn. You got negativity, anger, bondage, greed, reverse. So you coming up out of that energy or coming up out of that energy, out of that energy with somebody that was around you. So you're not around it. Energy no more. Hmm. Well, I was doing reading all day. My foot needs some rest. Come with your foot not hitting the floor all the way. It'll swell for hours. And being as though I'm short, my feet don't touch the floor. So, that's not good for my blood flow. So, peace, light, and blessings to all. Hope all have a great weekend.